Piece some of these. Let's take a look at some of your best pieces. You want to, Stephen? Okay. Now, look at this one here, Claire. Isn't this something? It's a shoe. Tell me about this. It's beautiful. Well, it's a shoe with a leg. Tell me about Lady's it. Lady's leg. It gives a new meaning to the phrase, shake your leg. 1937, West Virginia Specialty Glass Company. Do, uh, do we know who modeled this leg? No. But by 1937, everybody had a cocktail shaker on the shelf. So to increase sales, they wanted to make different uh, shapes. Why is 1937, the 30s, why are those good years for cocktail the, shakers? The 20s and the 30s are the age of the cocktail. So if you want to make something popular, pass a law against it with Prohibition 1920. If you want to make it more popular, repeal that law in 1933. So the 20s and 30s are really the age of the cocktail. I've What's never seen a cocktail yet? shaker like that. What is something like that worth? It's beautiful. About $850. Ooh, $850 for a cocktail shaker. Not bad, huh? Does that include the cups? It includes the cups. Claire, uh, they, they still haven't found the woman that modeled this. That wouldn't be you, would it? This isn't a Claire Carter you know, I cocktail shaker. I was thinking maybe it was like Cinderella or something, you know, yeah, with the right the, glass slipper. The shoe slipper. actually comes yes. off, by the way. <laughs> exactly. It's beautiful. Now, Stephen, show, Claire, you're going to love this one. Show me this one here. This is a Zeppelin made in 1928 when Zeppelin started to cross the Atlantic. It's actually a traveling bar. It disassembles into 22 pieces. 22 pieces 22 inside pieces. this. It's a traveling bar. Now, you know, the Zeppelin served the first in-flight cocktails. They also had the first in-flight no smoking regulations. So how much would this piece be worth here? This uh, shaker just sold at Christie's for $3,000. Claire, can you believe that? $3,000 for this Whoa. piece here. How many cocktails does this, does this hold? You can get four drinks. There's four cups. So four drinks after four cocktails. Can you put this back together? I can never get this back together. <laughs> <laughs> Two cocktails. Do you hold now, a lot of cocktail parties That's with all your cocktail fruit. shakers? There's a fruit cup in here. What was that, Claire? Does he hold a lot of cocktail parties with all these cocktail shakers? Yeah, you can have your own little, own little cocktail party. We have them all the time. We just can't wait. Now, show me this one over here. This one is really... This, this is one. the king of cocktail shakers, designed by Norman Bell Geddes, 1934. This Manhattan skyscraper serving set. It said that Norman Bell Geddes was inspired by the New York City skyline. That is beautiful. Now, you were telling me that this is not only good form, but... Good function. It's a good mix of form and function because it looks good and it pours well. Claire, this looks like a beautiful city, doesn't it? It's a gorgeous design. I have a feeling that one is probably worth a lot of money. You're right, Claire. It just sold at Christie's for $3,500 in chrome plate. Now, what is the best financial gain you ever got off of? I find every week. I found John the Shaker last week for $1 at a flea market. For a dollar? Okay. A dollar. And, and what is that worth? It's worth about 350 So one word of advice to anybody having a garage sale or bringing things to a flea market, that word of advice is research. How? How do you research? There's a lot of price guides. Covell's Price Guide or Tony Fusco's Price Guide to Art Deco. Both good books. Okay. Now, let's say, heaven forbid, there's a fire in your house. You've got to grab <laughs> one out of your thousand cocktail shakers. Which one? John, you I had the fine of a lifetime five years ago, Orangeburg Flea Market, 6 o'clock. Sunday morning, reaching for this cocktail shaker. What are you doing at a flea market at 6 o'clock in the morning? John, you got to get up early. You, want to, you, you got to get up before me to get these things. 6 o'clock in the morning, I met an antique dealer. We had a tug of war over the cocktail shaker. I said, let go, I'll buy you coffee. Turned out to be Arlene Letterman, an antique dealer from Nyack. And we started dating, and now she's my fiance. So my greatest find at 6 o'clock in the morning was Arlene Letterman. Claire, does he get any more romantic than that? Not only does he get the cocktail shaker, but he gets his fiance as well. That's pretty neat, isn't John, it? John, now people are going to start collecting and going to flea markets. You never know who you're going to meet. A great way to meet people. Hey, can we make a cocktail while we're at John, it? John, I use this all the time. I'll make you a nice cocktail. You want to do what, like a vitamin drink or yeah, something? Yeah, a little early for a martini. <laughs> but I'll make you a nice uh, vitamin drink. You want to show me the right form here? Ice goes in first. All right. Claire, we're going to make a little uh, cocktail shake here. Um, Let's see. Now you've got the perfect form. Now here's right. some vitamin powder. Vitamin powder. Vitamin mix. Great way to get your day off to a good start with vitamin yeah. mix. Yeah. A little, <laughs> little cranberry juice. All right. Now show me the proper form to shake this. Seven good hard shakes. Three, four, five. Why seven? You, if you shake too much, you dilute the drink. Now, hey, why are these the, the American invention? Well, invented around 1840, the cocktail shaker, along with the martini, which is also an American invention. All right, there we go. Claire, this is to be and back on the Northeast. 
and being in the Cocktail Shaker King's home and to you, Claire. Thanks for having us. Steve. Cheers. Thank you. And cheers to you, Claire. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing this cocktail collection with us. I mean, that's marvelous. I've never seen cocktail shakers like it. Thank you, Claire. And now the next time I'm at a flea market and I see one, I'll know that they're worth something. I learned something. <laughs> thank you. You bet. And I love the story of how he met his family.